All right. Uh, thanks for having us today and for putting this together. Um, I'm representing the Kanza Prairie. We're a tall grass prairie in eastern Kansas. And we think about the dynamics of our system in terms of the structure and function with regard to three sort of critical drivers, changes in climate, grazing by large ungulates, and then fire with varying frequencies. Um, there of the themes of the Science Council this year, there were many that we could have fit into, but a lot of the scope of our current research is uh, organized under this understanding of how alternative states form in this system based on changes in these three drivers. Um, so our biggest cons and news right now is that we have just finished our first year. We have just finished our first year of LTER8, which began in December of 2020. So we've been in that glorious position of getting like new experiments started. Some other big events. This is the 50th anniversary of the start of the cons of Prairie. So the original deed that in the negotiations worked out between Kansas State and the Nature Conservancy began in 1971. So this is the 50th anniversary of our biological station. We just completed the bison roundup about 10 days ago. So we worked all of our animals from this year. You can see in the right hand pictures. We're still burning even during the pandemic. We got our site burned. And in fact, we're doing fall burns later today. And then uh, we have a very active DEI committee that has formed within the last year that has been spending a lot of time improving our outreach. And we just got our public or land acknowledgement made public. When we think about this system and we think about our differences in, in states, uh, we have the long-term dynamics that we can access, but we also look through experimental manipulations of nutrients, climate, grazing, and fire to think about how different communities and different ecosystem processes manifest through these permutations of different drivers. So we have very complementary long-term changes as well as uh, experimental modifications of these drivers. One key focus of our site um, over the history of Kanza has been grassland restoration because most of this ecosystem has been lost over time, over the last century. A huge emphasis on our work has been focused on basically understanding the processes that result in restoring grasslands back into states similar to what they once were. So one of the projects that I'm happy to bring up is one that took 12 years to get started, and it's called the sequential restoration plots. So to reveal the role of interannual variability in climate on restoring grassland communities, we have sequentially restored prairie in an agricultural field using the same methods every other year since 2010. So these have been spanning different climatic years, some with average precipitation, some during severe drought. So that middle panel there, that multivariate panel, keep in mind, I'm an ecophysiologist. And so like, I have a hard time comprehending anything more than just like an X, Y relationship. But what this plot is showing you is it's an analysis of communities established under average and drought conditions, and then showing those changes that persist over a decade, that even after a decade since they were established, they still have very different community structure. The plot on the far right hand side shows these sequences over four time periods, so less years of total data, but based on starting in different years, their conditions still haven't converged. And what this gives us the opportunity to do is assess how decadal, it's a decadal study of communities developing to reveal whether stochastic variation in climate has deterministic outcomes on community assembly. So what's next? Uh, like I mentioned, we're in this beautiful sweet spot. I just submitted the year one annual report to Doug earlier this morning. This is the time when we actually get to do the science and worry about setting up our experiments. We're so excited about these experiments that we have proposed because we're looking at basically the history of long-term data and how those drivers impacts alternative states, experimentally manipulating drivers. We have a lot of projects that have been going on for decades. So we're looking at the process of what happens when you stop these long-term press experiments and then look at how communities change. And then in the, in the context of restoration, looking at human intervention. In addition, we're still very excited to be focusing on improving and increasing our outreach, education, DEI, and our synthesis activities. But most importantly, we're just excited to like be talking to you all again, and we can't wait to be doing this in person here soon and making a trip down to Phoenix. Thank you.